Hi guys, I am back and today I want to do a quick makeup chatter video. Um, there's a couple things that I've been loving, a couple things I want to talk to you guys about, and a couple things that I just don't see the hype for. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My window's open because it's like really nice outside today, but it's really windy and there's people outside. So if you hear a little bit of like talking in the background or some wind-like noises, that's just the window being open. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll start with something that I have really been liking. And these are the Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Remover Wipes. And I know I heard somebody on YouTube talk about how these are her favorite makeup remover wipes and I wanted to try them and I love them. The scent is super super strong. So if you're a person that doesn't like scent in your skincare, this will not be something for you. For me, I don't really mind it. Um these are more expensive too. They're like almost eight dollars for 25 wipes, but they are really, really nice. They almost have like an oily kind of like wetness to them. It's not a super dry wetness. It's almost oily and they remove makeup like nobody's missed this. These remove makeup better than anything I've ever tried to remove makeup and they kind of nourish your skin at least for me I kind of feel like it hydrates my skin a little bit because of that oily kind of texture to them and I do love the smell so these are really really good um they're kind of expensive but I definitely will recommend them to people and I definitely will repurchase them once these are gone I like them a lot um, another skincare thing which I actually have not been liking recently, this is a Clean and Clear Persogel 10. This is the Maximum Strength Acne Medication. So I was using um, this one by Essence that I purchased in Germany and I used it all up and I loved that thing and they do not sell it online. They sell it on eBay, which I might end up purchasing it on eBay, but they don't sell it in stores around me at least. They don't sell it online. Um, so I was watching a lot of videos and... I heard a lot of people say that this was really good so I picked it up it was kind of like it wasn't super expensive it was like six dollars um but this has done nothing every time I put it on a blemish it does absolutely nothing and it just for me it just doesn't work so I'm kind of disappointed in this um I'll keep using it and keep trying it but definitely not a winner in my book let's talk about something I rediscovered in my collection. Um, I was going through my blushes and I kind of want to just, I was looking for like a light kind of peachy pink blush and I know I have one, a couple of them actually, um, but I found this and I was like, I'll try it again. So this is the NYX Tango with Bronzing Stick. It looks like this. It has this like design on the back. Um, it's in the shade Meringue Flush and it basically looks like a NARS multiple in orgasm. It's a pink uh, pinky peach color with some like goldy yellow shimmer in there um, and I just take my small stubble brush from elf and I just dab it on the top and I apply it I don't like applying this straight from the stick because it kind of moves product around when you apply it straight from the stick so I've been using it with my elf small stipple brush and it works fine um, I do find it kind of is a little tacky so I just lightly set it with a translucent powder and it looks perfectly fine so yeah I have been re I rediscovered this in my collection I have been liking it so there's that um, I want to talk about this trio from physicians formula it's the shimmer strips Custom Eye Enhancing Extreme Shimmer Gel Cream Shadow and Liner Trio. So I saw Tati, um, trying to see where I can put my fingers. I saw Tati um, review these or first impression these and she liked them. So I picked them up because at first, I saw these in the store at first and I thought they would crease on my eye. So I decided, no bueno, not going to get those, but I saw her review. She liked them, so I purchased them. And the first one I wore is this pinky colored one, and I this one has to be my favorite, I think. It is super creamy and um, pigmented and sparkly, and it just looks really, really nice. So there's that one. Then the next one I tried out was this, like white color they don't have uh, shade names so bear with me this like white champagne shade and this one has the same texture as the pink one um and again really nice it's right next to the pink one it just said shine so then I went to try 
the um, the darkest shade. It's kind of like a taupey type shade. Um, here it is here. And when I tried this one, it just does not have the same texture. It's almost, it's like dry. Like it feels like it's dry compared to the other ones. And this one does not, of course on my finger, it looks like it has a lot of pigmentation, but when you transfer it onto the eye, it has the least amount of pigmentation and the most like opacity. So not opacity, um, sheerness the most it's the most sheer um this would definitely be like an eyeshadow topper where the other two you can wear as eyeshadows by themselves so i thought it was weird that within this trio that came together two of the formulas were a lot creamier than the other one i don't know if that's the experience that everybody's having or if this one's just like dry i'm not really sure so let me know below if you've had the same experience um, a couple more eyeshadows I want to talk about. This is the A Body Shop like quad that I got um, around Christmas time. It was on sale for $5, and I'm glad I only paid $5 for it. There was a fourth one in here, and it was a pink shade, and it looked horrible on me. I don't know why it looked horrible on me, but it did. So I gave it to my mom. She likes it. Um, but I do like this brown shade. I don't know if they are shade names. Um, I want to say this one is ruby this one looks really good all over the lid as kind of kind of like the same look i have on today um but with this eyeshadow i like it um the silver is okay but i wouldn't put it all over the lid it looks like that and then the last one is rich bronze which i believe i used as a lower lash line liner and i did really like it so yeah four three out of four is not bad um but they're not super like like handy they're not handy like I have to like take off this lid and then I have to take this one out and then I have to take off this lid and then you know it's just kind of annoying but I only paid five dollars for it so it's fine uh next thing I want to talk about is this naked lip gloss from Urban Decay in the shade Sesso it's what I'm wearing right now and I really love the color I love that I can put it over lipsticks I love that I can wear it alone I love the formula but the thing that is weird about it is the the lid the top just like it comes undone in my purse all the time like it takes nothing to like unscrew it like it's unscrewed already and then it just unscrews all the way so I don't know it doesn't like click shut and it just it takes like nothing just it rubbing it like even in your pocket rubbing on your pocket or just rubbing on anything in your purse it just comes undone and then it like it just I don't know I don't know why the lid just doesn't stay on but I love this lip gloss so I continue to wear it but it's just definitely not like a travel friendly type product Okay, two more things. The second to last one is the Macadamia Body Butter by Macadamia Naturals. I uh, I th think I got this as a gift from my mom's friend. And it smells like a macadamia nut. It smells pretty good. Um, and it's like this super white like paste. And when you touch it, it is like a paste. Like it almost feels like Play-Doh. It feels really like really pasty um but as soon as it like as soon as you start to rub it in like I don't know if you, if you can tell how pasty it is but as soon as you start to rub it into the skin it just like melts like you see how like pasty it is but then all of a sudden it literally just melts into the skin and it feels so good and it's so moisturizing and I'm totally in love with it but I definitely was skeptic skeptical in the beginning because it was like it has this like really pasty consistency so if you pick this up or you see it and you're kind of turned off by the way it like feels or looks in the jar definitely try it out and rub it on your skin because it totally just melts right into the skin and becomes really emollient and nice last thing I want to talk about I don't know what this was but last thing I want to talk about is in a lush tin this is the lush uh, shampoo bar in lullaby it's one of their newer ones of course I'm not gonna be able to open it now because I just uh, there I am I just lotioned my hands um, so it looks like this it's a light baby pink color mine's kind of gross looking ignore it but these ones um the new ones are super like they're not as hard as the old ones because they have a lot more essential oils um, so they tend to be a little more messy um, but this one just smells like lavender and kind of herbally but what I really love is this is supposed to um, 
like nourish and calm the scalp and I think it totally does that. I love using this with my tea tree conditioner because it totally works so well at just nourishing the scalp and calming the scalp down and getting all the gunk off your scalp. I totally love it for that. Um, and the scents together, like a minty herbaly scent and then this lavender herbaly scent, they just go well together. Um, and they are super moisturizing together. So I really, really have been loving this. I don't know why I closed it. Um, and I have tried other ones, other ones from the Lush other new Lush shampoo bars and um, this one has been my favorite so far. I did purchase Jason and the Argon Oil which I have not tried yet. Um, I tried the Brazilian one, not my favorite. The yellow one, the Montalbano one, again not my favorite but this one is my favorite so far. There are a couple more I have to try but this one is definitely my favorite so far. So that's everything I want to talk to you guys about. Some things I've been liking, some things I've having issues with. Um, but I hope you guys liked this makeup chatter. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I have a vlog coming soon and I have empties coming and just a lot of things planned. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I see a lot of people watching my videos, but they're not subscribing. So don't forget to subscribe.